One of the great things about JavaScript that I didn't mention earlier is that you can embed JavaScript directly into your HTML. This is a major advantage over other types of technologies in that you can troubleshoot your web pages and your JavaScript both in the same document. So I'm going to begin by typing out all of the necessary tags for a basic uh, web page. And um, if you have a um, text editor open, either simple text or notepad, I'd recommend you follow along here and then duplicate the typing of the scripts after you pause the, uh, the CD. Okay, so I'm going to begin with uh, HTML and I'm going to automatically close that tag and I'm going to then insert the head tag and I'm going to close that off as well. Um, you'll notice probably that I type um, relatively quickly and uh, if you're following along exactly the way I mean, you may not be able to keep up and uh, apologize for that. Um, so I'm going to start off with uh, a title and I'm going to call it My First JavaScript Page. And then I'm going to close off the title tag here. And after the head tag, I'm going to insert the body. And in the body, I'm actually not going to put anything, so I'm going to close off the body tag as well. And this will be the, the foundation for a lot of the work that we're going to be doing together. It's just a very basic HTML page. And you may find it helpful to open up an earlier JavaScript uh, slash uh, web page that you have um, typed in and saved and then just modify it and save it back out under a different name. I also recommend, by the way, that you, for the purposes of this uh, CD uh, training, is that you have uh, a quick way of getting into your text editor and into your browser because you may be uh, opening them up and closing them or minimizing them uh, quite frequently. So I have this set up. I have a, a shortcut to Notepad and to Internet Explorer here on my desktop. And I also have created a folder here of JavaScripts. And I'm going to recommend that you save your JavaScripts to your desktop and then file them away later um, as you accumulate them on your desktop. It's just a little easier to save from time to time if you do that uh, directly to your desktop and then just use the folders again as a filing uh, method later on. So I'm going to uh, now take this file and I'm going to save it as I'm going to save it basically as a, a name called JS and I'm going to give it a 01 afterwards and I'm going to uh, put htm at the end of it. I sometimes actually like to prefer uh, using the lowercase letters here so I'll retype that. I'll go out to the desktop and I will save that uh, HTML document directly to the desktop and it will appear out here. There it is. Um, and it won't do anything except it will just have my first JavaScript page out in the title area. So how do you actually begin uh, working in JavaScript? Well, it's actually very simple to begin and that is wherever you want to put a JavaScript, you need to tell the browser that you want to actually create JavaScript and that's done using the script tag. So the attribute for the script tag is actually language, okay, and this can either be upper or lower case. And then you put the word JavaScript in quotes here. And it doesn't matter how you type this out. It can be a capital S. I like to do that. And then you type your script and then you terminate the script with a closing script tag as well. And then inside this area between the script tag and the closing script tag is where you actually create your JavaScripts. That's the basic setup of a JavaScript in an HTML page. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to leave this lesson and then we're going to go on to the next section and we're going to actually create some JavaScript uh, functions and uh, learn, learn how to create uh, comments and how to bulletproof your, your JavaScript so that older browsers won't throw up uh, errors um, or whatever um, when uh, your scripts are actually being read.